자, 이 영상을 클릭하실 정도면 헤일로 시리즈를 좋아하시는 분이라고 생각합니다. 2001년대 출시한 이 시리즈는 총 20개에 넘는 시리즈가 출시될 정도로 웅장하고 스킬 큰 SF 우주 배경의 게임이죠. 최근 엑스박스가 새로운 헤일로 프로젝트를 여러 개 진행 중이라고 발표했습니다. 오늘 이 영상은 헤일로 시리즈를 만들었던 343 인더스트리로 알려진 개발 스튜디오가 헤일로 스튜디오로 리브랜딩 되면서 이전 헤일로 시리즈를 만들 때 사용했던 엔진 슬립 스페이스 엔진에서 언리얼 엔진 5로 성공적으로 전환을 알려 는 영상입니다. 영상을 보시면은 프로젝트 파운더리에 대해서 언급하고 있는데요. 이는 얼리얼 엔진으로 헤일로가 어떻게 구현될 수 있는지를 연구하는 프로젝트로 지난 2년간 작업이 이루어져 왔다고 합니다. 헤일로의 팬들에게 익숙한 다양한 장소가 얼리얼 엔진 5로 렌더링되어 새로운 게임이 어떤 모습일지 기대감이 높아지는 영상입니다. 그럼 번역된 영상 시작합니다. Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. This is Casey Wu, take one, Mark. I was told yeah. that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. <laughs> For six years, I don't want to be in front of a camera. <laughs> There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that I feel like I never run out of things to do. I love intricate stories that take place across lots of different worlds, have lots of different meaningful characters. What made Halo successful at the beginning? What is the legacy of Halo and what's the soul that we want to bring forward? And what's the craft of making Halo games? And how do we set our studio up best to go deliver on that. We knew we had to make a change in order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on Real Engine, my first thought was, this is going to be a really hard secret to keep. I think fans are going to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibilities that are afforded us by using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus in thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. Since we've made the change to shift to UE, we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true to what Halo is. The Foundry project was an effort to show ourselves how far we can push things using Unreal 5. Our new studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. Let's make it happen. Foundry, specifically, is based around the same concept of the Foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings are born. It's not a game, it's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. The original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, it was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations, something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional Halo biome. We were trying to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible to make it really feel like you're on a hike in the, you know, Cascades. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome that we took on, it was more of a technical showcase where we could play with shaders, we could play with deformable landscapes and terrains. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've ever had in the past. You know, on the surface, it might just look all like snow, but how many layers of things combine to really give that winter look? And then our third biome was the Blightlands, which is any land that's been completely taken over by the flood. I wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world, a really alien world, taking something way further than they may have actually done in previous Halo games. What's impressed me about watching the Halo team work in Unreal is how beautiful everything looks, how incredible the environments look. I don't think we've seen anything quite like it in Unreal Engine before. Fortunately, we have a studio that's really passionate about Halo, about the look and the feel, and you know, I think there's a lot of hunger to really collaborate, to move forward together. Foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process. Everything from concept art, VFX, characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the future games of Halo. 
creating an asset, taking this design, now we can really dig into material foundations. What is it actually made of? How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy assets that we have, bring them to life, and bring them to uh, today's standards. We are really excited to be not just working on multiple projects, but also expanding our studio. As a lifelong Halo player, I think the game's only gonna get better when we get those new, unique perspectives and people bring in their expertise and uh, passion for the Halo franchise. We are looking for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great to be part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that, that force multiplied as people come in and take on challenges and you can do more. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo games, and create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your creativity, and your professional ambitions in that place. We're looking for designers, we're looking for artists, we're looking for engineers. It feels like a new beginning for the studio in a lot of ways, and I think that's pretty rare. And I think we arrived now at a point where you see the beginnings of people to start to believe in the process. There's so much momentum that we have right now and focus and clarity on not just what we're building, but why we're building and kind of this next phase of Halo. The worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential at Halo right now is huge. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing the recipe.